Hey everyone, welcome to my first video. Today we're going to be talking about how to start some of our VEX VR activities. We're going to learn how to open up the activity sheet, read through it, figure out what we have to do, and then go to the website and set it all up so we can get started. This should be the same for all of the VEX VR activities. The only thing that's going to change is what you do within the act. So other than that, if you do struggle with this, please let me know, watch the videos. It should walk you through each step of what we're doing here with these VEX VR activities. But if you still are struggling after the videos, I'd be more than happy to help you. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so now that we're on our computer, we should be on our Google Classroom. We're gonna go over to Classwork. We're gonna scroll down all the way to Unit 3, Automation. We're gonna see all of our activities listed under here. For now, there's only one. Let's see where this video is, the VR activity introduction but here's our first one vex vr activity one distance drive challenge so let's just use this one as an example in your activity you're going to have the link to the vex vr website let's open that up we're also going to have our instructions of you know reading the sheet completing the levels and then the screenshots that i want you to complete so let's open up our instruction sheet Remember, these instruction sheets are also available on the VEX VR website, but do not use those ones because I've modified the, these for our class. So these are the ones I want you to use, the ones that I give you in Google Classroom. So when you open up the activity, you have the title of the activity, Distance Drive Challenge. You have kind of just a screenshot from the VEX VR playground of maybe what you might be creating, but that's not too important. The first piece of information you get here now is the playground. So in the VEX VR website, there's multiple different playgrounds. Let me show you. Close out the tutorial. Up in this top right corner is where you'll see the playground and you'll actually see your code come to life. So when you have it kind of on the side here, you can see right now we're in the wall maze playground. We don't want that one. What did ours say? Grid map. So we're gonna come back here at the top here, select playground. I'm gonna down arrow, I'm gonna click grid map. So this is the playground you should be in for the first activity. It may change depending on the activity that you do. There's the grid map. Now the main piece of information for the activities is the challenges. Like I said, most of these are gonna have three different levels. Level one is gonna be the easiest, level two gets a little harder, then level three is the final activity or challenge for this specific one. And this is the one that you're gonna submit your screenshots for, only the level three. You still have to do level one and two because I hope you learn the code and what you're doing to get to level three, but I only wanna see the level three screenshots. Okay, so you'll read it. So we're gonna VR robot to drive forward three grid spaces. So we go to our code, we select the code that we want, drag and drop it in. These are all drag and drop, you can place code. You can rearrange it. And if you, don't, if you want to get rid of it, you just drag it back to the left and it disappears. Okay, so that's how you would complete the challenges. Like I said, all these levels are going to be different depending on what the challenges are, but you're going to have the same idea if you read the level one challenge. You come to the VEX VR code website, you drag and drop your code in. Once you think you have it right, you hit play on this simulator and it'll run through the code. So just a quick example, let's say I want it to drive forward 400 millimeters. Then I want it to stop driving. Remember, like you said, for you, what you're gonna have to do for all of these, so I can see the path your robot has selected, and you're gonna have to scroll down on this left side here in the code. Scroll all the way down to move robot pen. This pen allows us to see the path that it takes. Right now I'm starting with a robot pen down. So that means that it's gonna put the robot pen down on the paper and then whatever it drives after that, you'll be able to see. You can also change the color. We can just leave it black for now since this is, uh, we're just doing the beginning here. So now what my code is saying, it'll move the robot pen down. The color of the pen will be black and it's gonna drive forward 400 millimeters and then stop. So if that's your code for the level you're doing, you would hit play and you can see it runs through the code and it stops. You can stop the simulation, you can restart it. 
But that's how you would complete the levels, the challenges that are on this information sheet. Again, they're gonna be different. If you struggle with them or have questions, let me know. And then you're submitting your screenshot for level three. So if this is my level three, I can open up. I like the snipping tool. I can go back to the classroom. Remember we had our first Google Doc, which is the activity sheet. Here, the other Google Doc in this activity is the completed screenshots. This is what I'm gonna have to look at to see your level three screenshots. We have our level three block, block code screenshot. That's what I just took a picture of. So this is what I have. Remember, I can right click, copy, paste it in here. And now I'm able to see what code you wrote for that. If you can't fit the whole code in your screenshot, some of these codes for the activities get really long, go way down more than just one page. Just take from the beginning to as much as you can get. Because I may not need to see the whole code because remember the second screenshot is gonna be of this playground. So once you get your screenshot of the code, now you have your completed playground. So you would hit start simulation. The robot runs through, you can hit stop. Whatever the, whatever it was coded to do, I'll see with the marker down. I can go back to my snipping tool, hit new. Again, drag and all the way over the screen that I want and release the mouse. And now here's my screenshot of the grid map. So even if I can't see your full block code, I'll be able to see the playground with your completed robot path here. And if it's the code's right, then the path will be right. So I can go back to my completed screenshots page, scroll down to level three completed playground screenshot, open up my snipping tool, right click, copy. I can just paste it right in here. And there's the path. So all you're turning in for these, remember level three block code screenshot, as much of the code as you can show from the beginning all the way down the page. And then your playground with the completed path. Don't send me the playground at the beginning, otherwise I won't be able to see the path your robot's gonna take and I'm gonna tell you to resubmit it. If your path or their code isn't completely right, still turn in something for some partial credit or ask me and I'd be glad to help you. When you're done with that, in the top right, you would hit turn in, and then I would see when you submit the assignment. Remember, there's gonna be a couple of these a week, depending on how many days that you're in class or out of class, and they're gonna be due by Sunday at midnight of that week. So if I um, assign one on a Monday, you're gonna have plenty of time in class to complete it, and then submit it by that following Sunday at midnight. If I, if I assign one on Friday during class, these all are quick enough that you can do them during the class period. So when you're at home, you should be working on the activity that I assigned for the day because the next class, I'm gonna go on to a, a new one. You'll submit it and it'll be due by Sunday. So now we will be covered our activity sheet here. We went through the playground, the challenges. There's some helpful hints at the bottom of a lot of these. So if you do get stuck, check the helpful hints as well. We went over how to open up our VEX VR website. Remember, you're just drag and dropping in code. If I'm moving on to the next one, I can just drop this to the left, remember, and it deletes it. We went through how to use the playground, and then we went through how to submit your completed screenshots and what you're submitting. So if you have any further questions, please let me know. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.